hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm just filming my partner's meal prep grocery haul so here we grabbed some beef mints for about 12 dollars. we did shop at woolies metro this week because it was convenient on the way home we grabbed some chicken thighs it was about 19 dollars for 1.4 kilos so about 13 dollars 50 a kilo also grabbed one tomato because we're going to make some beef burgers again and capsicum because we're going to probably add that in our spag bowl just to beefen up the veggie intake and then grabbed some mushrooms and he wanted to try these legos bolognese sauce i think it was on sale for two dollars fifty a jar so we grabbed two of those generally i meal prep a big bulk batch for dinners for him throughout the week for about four to five days carrots were a dollar forty a kilo mandarines were three dollars fifty a kilo and eggs were four dollars seventy a kilo and he also grabbed some snacks throughout the week for himself so pringles so barbecue flavor they were half price at woolies for two dollars fifty and he also grabbed some sour cream and onion yeah. so we're going to get into the meal prep guys i've chopped up one medium sized onion a big bowl full of spinach and i defrosted some beef mints i got from my freezer i generally have a stockpile of meat and frozen veggies on hand at all times so I've sauteed the onion with the beef mince. I don't use any oil because there's fat in the beef mince that will naturally come out, as you guys can see. And then I rinsed and then added my baby spinach. This was from my Costco haul. There was still quite a bit left over, so I'm just using it up. And I'm just sauteing all of the mince and the veggies together. And then I grabbed some of my leftover rice I had on hand. Sometimes I do prep the rice in advance and freeze it. That way it's just easier when I need it. All i got to do is microwave the rice. I mix it all together and then topped it off with a bit of sriracha sauce. So with this next meal, I just ducked off to the shops to grab some broccolini and broccoli. And the steaks were from my Costco shop. I just defrosted from the freezer. What I did was briefly cook the broccoli and broccolini and then when I cooked the steak I added a bit of olive oil and salt ideally I would have liked to add rosemary on the steaks as well but my partner didn't have any on hand so after I finished cooking the steak I did toss in the broccoli and broccolini once more just so it could be dressed in the steak juices so that was one of our meals next meal was burgers so we sliced some tomatoes onions and mushrooms my partner seasoned the beef patties with a bit of cumin and salt um, so I cooked the beef patties and then I sauteed the mushrooms and onions with the beef fat juices. The brioche buns we just grabbed from the freezer we had on hand. So the mushrooms and onions were cooked. The tomato was just um, fresh so we didn't grill the tomatoes or anything. And then what we did was chop it off with a little bit of that burger sauce from Coles which we absolutely love. To me it kind of tastes like the Hungry Jack's sauce. I really like this. Burgers I prefer to have at home because I make bigger patties. And this is now meal prep. So we've got some diced capsicum, diced carrot and onions. There's probably about three carrots there. Um, some bolognese sauce, two jars and some beef mints. I did use some for the burgers, but the rest of it will be used for the bolognese. So what I tend to do is add a little bit of water to cook down my carrots, onions and capsicum because I like it really, really soft. And I don't want to add additional fat to the meal because the beef mince already has fat in it. So after that veggies have softened down a little, I do add my beef mince in, cook it all together. I do add a little bit of salt and then I toss in the um, pasta sauce, which you guys are seeing me add in now. Sometimes there is um, leftover sauce in the jars, so I tend to add a little bit of water in the jars, shake it up and then pour it back in. That way I don't waste any of the sauce. Once all the sauce is added, I do let it simmer for a couple of minutes just to help thicken it up because I have added a little bit of water as mentioned prior and then I just serve that on top of some pasta or spaghetti or whatever type of pasta we have on hand when I prep this meal. In the next clip, we're still going to be doing some more meal prepping. I've just got some chicken thighs here, some diced onion, diced carrot and butter chicken sauce that I got from Woolies probably a week or two ago when it was half price for $2.75. Now I'm not too sure what type of veggies you add into butter chicken so let me know in the comments because I just added in what I had on hand. I cooked down the chicken thigh with no oil because there's a lot of fat that will be released from the chicken thighs anyways as you guys can see here and then use that chicken fat to saute my onions and carrots. 
I wanted to add more veggies into my butter chicken but I wasn't sure what type of veggies go well with this dish so I just stuck with the carrots and onions. I also chopped up my chicken thigh into bite-sized pieces and then added the sauce and let it simmer down a little. Again, I do add a little bit of water in the jar after I've poured out the sauce because some of the sauce gets stuck around the jar. So I shake it up and then pour it back in and then I let that to continue to simmer as well. I generally serve this on top of some simple white rice because um, it's easier. And this is another quick, easy breakfast. I've just got some toast with some Danish feta and some sauteed spinach on top. Super delicious and super easy. And this was a quick lunch. I've just basically steamed some broccoli, cooked up some bacon, and then added in some Danish feta because I had some leftover. And it was a really tasty, simple, healthy lunch. This is also another variation I've shared before. It's just toast with some Danish feta and some grilled tomatoes. Also really delicious and one of my faves. And one of the days we went and had a pub feed. So I got some steak, chips um, with mushroom gravy and a side of a salad. That was $30 and we also got one kilo of honey soy glazed wings for $15. So we got two dishes and we shared. If you know of a good pub in Sydney, please let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. My partner and I also went to Mikaziki to try this pork tonkatsu ramen. It was okay, but I don't think I would purchase this ramen at Mikaziki again. I love eating at Mikazuki, but I don't think they have the best ramen. On the other hand, I love their eggplant, their tempura eggplant with that sweet glaze. I think it's a miso glaze. So, so delicious. And their scallop and crab um, volcano roll, which is what you guys see on the right. So, so delicious. This is probably my favorite roll I've ever had at any other sushi place in Sydney. So I highly recommend trying the volcano roll at Mikazuki at Chatswood if you're based in Sydney. I also wanted to share this ice cream shop. It's called Hakiki in Newtown and it's like a Turkish ice cream place and it's so delicious guys. It's like a chewy ice cream and I highly recommend you go there to give it a go. I've never had ice cream this chewy before and I absolutely love it. I recommend their Turkish coffee flavor and their melon and feta flavor. Also guys, I just wanted to let you guys know I am introducing some cash stuffing videos on my channel. Essentially, it gives you guys an insight in regards to how much I spend for each category each month. It's just a new way of budgeting that I would like to give a go because I have watched a few content creators on YouTube do cash stuffing and I thought it looked fun and interesting. So that's the reason why I'm going to be giving this a go. So if you're interested in budgeting or you want to get some insight into how I budget, check out my cash stuffing videos. I will try to upload this once a week. I am relatively new to this, so please be lenient with me. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next one.